The rising of the feminine means the rising of the inner feminine inside the, a man. And, and it also is, a, as, the, as the feminine comes into her fullness of stature, she is coming into her kind of intellectual realms. And, and there is a kind of, she's integrating her inner masculine, he's integrating his inner feminine. And really that creates more fronts for, for intimacy. One of the things that is, is interesting, I think, is that, I mean, this gets into a much more complicated aspect of the model, which is that when the feminine diminished, like when she was this big, she could hold this many lights when she diminished. So what happened to all the lights, all the consciousness that had previously been in, in her? So many of them became absorbed by her Ben Zug, her, male, her partner, and he holds them as trustee, and in the meantime, makes use of them. <coughs> and in the meantime, makes use of them under the condition that he will transfer to them as she becomes ready to receive them again. And so, in the rising of the feminine, she actually is rising along a path and a route that he has already forged. And so, her, her development, like, like we talked about her coming in, to professions and things like that are professions that he's already, you know, hammered out. In this transition, there is a real, like, kind of existential fear for the masculine. Like, when he gives her back the lights that he's been holding, who is he? And where does he go? And that new masculine is really a complete unknown. It never has existed in the universe. Mm -hmm. So this transition is much more frightening for men than it is for women. Because women are, are like, it's just marching along a path that's clear and has already been carved out. Whereas the masculine has to reinvent himself and trust that Hashem is going to give him the resources to do so.